The basis for our mask is a simple blank bought from the internet. Firstly I'm going to fill in the eye sockets using this metal mesh from a tea strainer. So putting the tea strainer inside the mask and drawing out the shape of the eye, I can actually get the idea of the area that I need for the eye itself. I've drawn a bigger circle around this because I'm going to actually place glue on the tea strainer to prevent the metal mesh from unravelling. Here's a metal mesh cut out of the tea strainer. There's a rim of glue around the outside to hold the mesh from unravelling. I'm going to now glue this inside the mask. The metal mesh has been glued into the eye sockets from behind. The mask is quite shallow and there is no forehead covering, so I'm going to use a piece of plastic to build up a forehead and to add side pieces to the mask. So I've just bolted a piece of plastic to the side to extend the side. This now needs to be cut to shape and I've glued a piece across the front to build up the forehead. This has been cut and then bent to cover the top of the head. Side pieces have been cut to shape and bolted in place. I've got two air fresheners which I'm going to glue to either side of the mask. I'm going to take out the liquid portion before I spray these up so that I can replace this later and retain its initial colour. This makes it look like the earpieces are oil filled. Here's the mask with the earpieces glued and bolted in place. I'm going to mount cylinders on either side of the masks. These cylinders need to be sanded so that they can be painted. This is the mask with cylinders mounted on either side. I'm now going to attach a small tube to go from the front of the cylinders round to the mouth. Here's the pipes coming out of the tubes and into the mouth. I've added a couple of extra plates and then some nuts which I filled in with epoxy putty as additional detail. I've added some plastic pieces to the side connected with some black wire. These will appear like brass pipes once they've been sprayed up with the rest of the mask. I've glued small pieces of plastic all across the mask and then added fake rivets. These rivets are made from a plastic rod which is just cut up into small pieces. I've added some plastic rods to the eyebrows. These are just held in place by drilling small holes into the eyebrow and then gluing the rods. I'm now going to spray paint the entire mask with a base layer. Here's the mask covered with a white primer undercoat. Here is the mask sprayed a brass colour. I'm now going to put a brown wash over the top of this to highlight all of the raised pieces. The mask has been covered with a wash of dark brown enamel. This helps pick out all of the relief. I've highlighted the raised portions using a brass acrylic paint and then added a corroded look with a green verdigris acrylic paint around the mouth and some of the other joints.